Hello. It's quite lovely to see you again. No, I wasn't doing anything particular today, so it was a perfect time. Of course, well, I have the particular book that you were interested in. Let me grab it for you. Now, it's quite large. I hope you do not mind. But you said you were very much into some folk tales. Of course. So, this beautiful book here. I have no problem lending it to you. Of course. I trust you. So, Treasury of Irish Fairy and Folk Tales. Oh no, I've read the entire thing, so. There's truly no rush getting it back to me. Well, it's quite a lot of stories, not simply, not simply a singular one. So, let's see here. The Drooping Fairies. Do you like <laughs> fairy tales? Alright. So, the Fairies Legends. On the fairies, and then on the bride, the priest, supper, the fairy well, legend of the bottle hill, take hold, paddy, cork, and wife, fairy's revenge, cushaloo, legend of the cork and fire, the white drought, thorns punish, thorns wife, the fairy thorn, the fairy dance, Jimmy Doyle, the fairy palace, the covered bride, the palace in the wrath, legend of the knock far, the holy. Fairies are not fairies, the spell stock. Then there's, of course, the cave fairies, Eaten of the Queen, the Black Stead, Black Dog, Three Ladies in White, the Holy Match, the Ride of the Fairies, the Fairy Spy. <laughs> I'm quite excited to share it with you. The Dark Horseman, Gila, May Robber, the Changeling, Changeling. Trial by Fire, The Fairy Child, The Fairy Nurse, The Changeling, again, The Brewery of the Eggshell, Jingling and His Back Pipes, the Two Gossips, The Stolen Child. Oh, not a fan of Gossip Boy. <laughs> Must not care for Lady Whistledown. Do you not? I tend to find her writings quite uh, enjoyable. Anyway, um, the Stolen Trial, the Fairy Changeling, Tomb of the Young Piper, Soul Cages, Lord of Duncan, the New of the Go to Solitary Fairies, and then go into Ghost Stories as well, Witch and Fairy Octors, Priests and Saints, the Devil Giants, Rock and Stone, Treasure Legends, Legends of the Western Islands, Kings, Queens, Princesses, Earls and Nobles. Introduction. But it's, it's quite easy read. I know that you are very interested in books, so, like myself. So you should have no problem really getting through it. It's a very beautiful book. <laughs> Indeed.
So this will be just sitting here for you. Oh no. I read all sorts of things. As you know, books. I love to collect them of course, but it, I do read Lady Whistledown. Well, Mama brings it into the house, so yeah. do you not. I do have the latest issue. Lady Whistledown. Oh well. Diamond of the First Water. Dearest gentle readers. I mean you could have this copy if you like. I'm pretty sure the entire Feathering household has already read it over several times. No, we are not mentioned in this issue. Has your loved ones been mentioned in Lady Whistledown? I didn't think so. Right, well, of course she might not be everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> right, well, it's perfectly fine. I'm not insisting you read Lady Whistledown so that you can browse my book collection. No. Of course, now if um, you've gone through a few of mine that you borrowed, but if you make it through that one, there may be a couple that you could borrow from across the way. No, I couldn't really get them for you right now, but Eloise Bridgerton. She has them, the copies, so, oh, I'm sure she would lend them to you. She knows that you, of course, adore reading as we do. No, no, I, um, I don't spend much time with Eloise these days, but, oh, not to worry. She you know I have my books, and with this season, keeps us quite busy, does it not? Right, of course. Have you found any suitable matches for you this season? I do know that you had your eye on diamond. Well, something that sparkles, that is. Not all diamonds sparkle, there are plenty of gems to go around, wouldn't you say? Of course. Yes, well, that sounds like good news. Proper news for you. family must be excited. Does he enjoy a good book as well? Oh, that's truly a blessing for you then. <laughs> My mama refuses to let me look at any sort of literature when I'm around any sort of suitors, so of course we hide the books away when I have any sort of meetings, but that is not, not many now is it? Of course. <laughs> All right, so you are all set to go. Feel free again to take your time with this particular book. I've read it already and recently as well, so I don't need to read it again for maybe until next season. <laughs> of course, so your book here, and I will pop in the Lady Whistle Down. Just in case you're curious about what she has said in this particular issue. Right, so, Lady Whistledown, inside your fork tails. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course, it was lovely to see you. Alright, here. Dearest gentle reader, I hope I greet you well today, as we look forward to the season ahead. I wish to remind you of the simple things. Many times we are rushed into the hectic push and pull of the new season, and we forget the things that could bring us simple joy, such as friendship. Oftentimes it is taken for granted, I'm afraid, but allies will do you well 
especially if one can trust them through such a labouring time. Do not take these relationships for granted. Even as you move to fill your dance card with the acceptable suitors, you must always remember the relationships you started as small children, even into adulthood. Perhaps those allies can be better trusted. Those that promenade with you, those that borrow a pure book from you, are those you wish of when you no longer address them day to day. We must also learn to take care of oneself. The balls, the dancing, and of course the Queen's approval may be on so many of our minds, but we must take a silent moment to unwind oneself. Slow down for a brief moment and relax. Relax yourself, your mind, your body. It will do you well. Rest well in the evening and dream of only pleasing thoughts, joyful dreams and do not focus on biased nightmares or things that are not simply for you joyful. Perhaps if even Lady Whistledown can tell you to rest well, slow down, and remember to care for oneself, you may listen to her. I wish you a restful sleep, reader. Dream well, wish bright, and until our next words, Lady Whistledown. <laughs>